that we are going to study for today and uh, it's a uh, Christina and we are going to, to paint the eye with the sienna burnt sienna just basic layout of the eye around the iris I mean around the pupil and try to put a lot of paint on it just chunk of paint that is thick Usually I paint my portrait at least two, three times. That at the end it's very thick and skin tone very natural. And now I'm going to have a rag, putting, wiping my br my brush with a rag, not the paper towel, paper towel for the palette knife. Okay, I'm going to have ultramarine, dark and ivory black together for the pupil. I'm not using ivory black itself. Only with other color. That is very rich and beautiful. So I'm putting here dark eye, uh, pupil. Now I'm going to, I see in her photograph that she has a beautiful rim. So I'm using burnt umber and I'm going to put darkest darks on the top because of uh, eyelid is dropping the shadow, cast shadow from eyelid and I'm going to put some rim around the iris and then I'm going to use um, ultramarine and put it on the top. I'm mixing that ultramarine only wet on wet because if you put on dry surface ultramarine it's going to be ultramarine and this is mixing pretty good colors. Now I'm going to work on the white of the eyes, which uh, I mixed yellow ochre, yellow ochre, uh, ultramarine and white and a little burnt sienna. And we need to try. It's pretty white, but uh, we need to put that first on the... I'm going to put middle tone first and then I'm going to highlight that. And because the canvas around is pretty white, seems like it's pretty dark. Don't be scared. You always can adjust, make it lighter or darker. So I'm lightening here in the middle because it's an eyeball. In the center it's much lighter and darker here. Now I'm going to put a little highlight. It's uh, 1 o'clock, this highlight. So the light is coming from that side. It seems like if you have, imagine the clock, it's one o'clock light, highlight on the eyeball. So I'm going to place it really careful, right there. Very nice. Then we are going to take a skin tone and cut red and put the, insert a little bit tear dot here. Then we need to use crimson to dark the, the tear dot, like inserting the tear dot into the eyeball. So then I'm going to have our Morton Caput Violet and go around the eye. But it's not the final. I'm going just to put the dark rim around the eye, eye where the, but then I'm going to put the darkest dark here because the eyelashes of Christina is very beautiful and black. She's Spanish, very beautiful young girl. So that. Then we are going to work a little more here. So I'm going to take my darkest dark of, with a, with a already a basic mixture of that and put a little darker right under the eye, uh, under the um, under her eyelid, right there, and it's just the beginning, so we are not going to put much right now, so